Let's see. Next question. Bro, I'm branded this week. LaCroix, huh? How about that? Moving on up. Next question comes from Scott on Instagram. Adam, I'm an assistant brewer at a small craft brewery. We recently started getting a new lot number of Yakima Chief Citra for our flagship IPA. Unfortunately, it is different enough that the beer suffered. I know hops, even from the same field, can show differences. But this is really drastic from lot to lot. Uh, but is it really that drastic from lot to lot in year to year? We even notice what seems to be a lot more hop creep in this lot, despite keeping our process the same. <coughs> yeah, this is a great question. Um, absolutely. Uh, the, those beers can, those, those hops can differ that much. It's not surprising to me. I'm burping like crazy. Yeah. You guys have to, uh, uh, you know, the, the 16 people that are watching, it just plummeted down to two because of the number of times I'm burping. Um, yes, it, it makes sense to me too, that you could see, uh, more hop creep, uh, from, uh, from different crop years of, of, of the same varietal. And, and yeah, I think you can feel pretty confident if you have hops all of the same lot, um, in order for that, for, for them to perform the same way. Um, and this is one of the tricky things when you do have a flagship beer that's going out for distro, different things like that, you really have to maintain consistency. What I would suggest is going forward, um, very few of us have the ability to select hops. So um, that's not going to be where, where I suggest you go with it. I listened to a podcast a while back on craft beer and brewing where they were talking to a German Helles brewer, and he was talking about whatever varietal he was, he was talking about, whatever German grown variety he was talking about. He was talking about that he's essentially blending three different crop years, three different crop years, um, and maybe even more. Um, and, and they're trying to maintain uh, consistency with that. Um, and this isn't something that maybe you, you won't be able to snap your fingers and do immediately. Um, but maybe look at trying to overlap your, your crop years a little bit. So um, for instance, right now, let's say that you're running on some 2022s and you have some 2023s coming in. Rather than using all the 2022s and then starting up with the 2023s, like overlap them a little bit. And maybe, um, maybe you take, uh, you know, one crop year of Citra and the other crop year of Citra and you keep, uh, you keep the, the crop year you have been using and make that 75% of the, the citra that goes into that beer. And then you put 25 of, of the new crop year in. The next, the, the next time you do a batch, you can do 50-50. And then, you know, 25, 75, and, and then roll it all the way over. That's one way to try to make that transition smoother. And the other thing is you can actually just look at building it out that way trying to make it 50-50 of a 2022 and a 2023 um, and then just kind of fold it, it, it in like that. So that would be some of the suggestions that I have on that. Um, you know, not phasing them out abruptly when you can. I understand that purchasing can be difficult and everything like that, but but that might help to put up a, a little bit of buffer around you as as you start as you start working out through those things. So Yes. Uh, Scott, thank you so much for the question. Boy, we've got, we've got some more OGs in here. We got Hugh in here. Welcome back, Hugh. 